Hey everyone, it is LFP Coins. Hope you're having a great day as always. I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to authenticate your PCGS coins. This method is completely free. You don't need a PCGS membership or anything like that. I'm going to be telling you how to get the code, where to put it, and I'm going to be talking about the app later on in the video as another way and why you should use it. Um, but let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to head over to pcgs.com slash c-e-r-t. Link for the site will be in the description if you don't want to type that out. You will be on this page. Um, it'll say quick verify authenticity and quality. Um, so where it says pcgs coin slash banknote sent number. Um, you are going to type in your code. Now, PCGS gladly gives you um, some pictures below to see where the code is, but I'm also going to show you on the coin in case those don't help enough. See that slash right above the uh, barcode after the 66 on my coin? That slash. Any numbers after that slash are what you're going to type in. So, um, my code is 251 nine five nine seven seven now you're gonna hit verify and it takes a second to load and then it'll pop up with your um coin so it says 1966 this is a 1966 coin so we know the coin is correct um it'll give you the denomination the date the variety the region grade um, the price it's worth and all that. Um, but you can see over here where it says no image available. Well, um, that is when you order, uh, a coin to be graded from PCGS, you can, uh, request a high res photo of your coin, um, which is extra money, of course, but I did not do this and I actually didn't grade this coin myself, but, uh, we can see this does match my coin. So we already know it's the coin. So uh, that's the easy way to do it. Very simple, straightforward. Um, again, only the numbers after the slash and you will be here. Um, so this is also a good way to check. If you see a coin up for auction or up for sale, type in the number and look at the price. Does it equal the price they're selling it for? Is it a deal or not a deal? It's a good way to check it out. So you can see me go. It's PCGS C E R T verification. Uh, now this is what the app looks like. Go ahead and get that app. That is the app you are going to need. Uh, now we are here on the screen. Um, what there's actually two options for this. You can scan with the barcode, which is the one I'm going to be talking about, and then you can enter the PCGS um, number. So that's kind of it's basically like it is on the site that I showed you earlier, but on the app, that's more efficient for you. Um, but let's go to scan barcode. So first thing I'm going to do is click that button in the bottom right. This is scan without a barcode. Boom, there we go. Lunar year 2021 coin. So that works pretty good, pretty easy. Um, now let's try the other coin. Let's get this up here. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Boom, 1966. Um, um, that is basically all about that. Now, let's try without... Uh, no, let's try with the barcode this time. This is where I started getting some problems. Um, so, see, it's not picking up the barcode. I have it. I'm trying to get closer, but my camera doesn't focus great. Um, it's pretty hard to get a... Uh, let's try without a barcode. Um, invalid number... Okay, checking again, invalid, invalid. Okay, let's try the other one. Uh, let's see if this time it works. Invalid card number, invalid number. Okay, uh, let me try to do this one more time. Now, let me pause for a moment. Um, as you can see, there's already some flaws with that, but this is where it goes very downhill. Okay, let's scan it, it's working. A 1961 penny. I mean, come on, that's a beautiful penny, but that is not my candy half dollar at all. So as you can see, there are definitely a few problems with this app. I really like the toy on that coin. It's an amazing coin, but it showed 
the wrong coin. So you can see number one, that is a flaw. It detected the wrong coin. Um, and then with the barcode, it just didn't pick up the barcodes for some reason. The developers need to fix this. Um, it's just not a good functional app. As you did see, it did work. I'm not saying it doesn't work. Um, but I personally won't use it in the future. I will um, probably go on the site and type in the code rather than scanning it with the barcode or the number. Maybe the app's for you, but it is a little glitchy. So in my opinion, don't get the app. It's, it's free, so it won't hurt you to try it out yourself. Let me know how uh, or which one of these methods you use. But the app, it's just, it doesn't work. It's not that great. Um, it has some flaws they need that they need to fix. Um, but this is available for Android and Apple users in the Google Play Store. I think that's the one that Android uses. But uh, test this app out for yourself. Let me know how it is. Smash the like on this video and subscribe on the way to 500. Also, on a quick note, um, follow the Instagram and podcast. There will be podcast episodes coming soon. Um, and I've been posting on Instagram a lot lately. That's all. Hope you had a great day. See you in the next one.